this episode, we head out on tour with Drew Belk, the pedal steel guitar player and band leader for country singer Easton Corbin. We'll check out how he incorporates Peterson tuners into his rig and learn about the techniques it takes to tune up his unique instrument. Then, down in Nashville, Tennessee, we connect with award-winning producer and songwriter Scotty Davis. We'll find out how he uses Peterson tuners in his studio and learn how important it is to be truly in tune. Hey guys, this is Kenny with Peterson's Tune TV. I'm here with Drew Belk, the auxiliary steel guitar slash key player for country star Easton Corbin. We're out here on the All Over the Road Tour. I just wanted to sit here and talk with Drew a little bit about uh, his Peterson usage over the years and how he transitioned from using the flip to the new Strobo Plus HD and how unique it is tuning up a steel guitar. Really when I first began the pedal steel guitar, which was back in 2005, uh, the Strobo flip was uh, my choice to, to do that mostly because it had um, sweetened tunings already for the pedal steel and, and it wasn't until probably about four years later that I moved into uh, tempering my own tuning and, and customizing what I wanted to do with the steel. Um, I used it for the banjo in the studio also in the dobro for the um, with those sweetened tunings also. It right. was really, uh, the, the flip was a very versatile tuning. With the steel guitar, it's a, it's a super unique instrument, and it's a high tension instrument. You play it with the bar and finger picks, and I, I know that you have also uh, the, you have the, the pedal um, and the knee levers. Um, where does that come into play with tuning? In the pedal steel guitar world, uh, the actual instrument has something what uh, steel players call cabinet drop, and what that does is when you press the pedals on the floor, the whole body of the instrument actually flexes uh, with that tension and it lowers the tuning oh, wow. um, of, of the guitar. So one of the things that I've done with the Peterson is actually compensate for all of that cabinet drop. And, and that, that happens in different places after you've already compensated for certain notes to be flatter in the tuning to begin with. So yeah. it becomes a mathematical moving around of things. Um, and, and the Peterson makes it easy to do that once you've found your own you know arithmetic and, and right. how you can make it work uh, what foundational preset did you use before altering um, and adapting your tuning uh, with the flip I was using the uh, just the e9 sweetened tuning okay I think it's each each player's ear and and uh, that really is kind of what leads me uh, because we play on in your monitors you hear such a kind of a microscopic view of of where you are with the rest of the band and and I try to tune mostly with the bass guitar um, and so if I'm hearing waves between my instrument and his uh, that's really where I begin to ask myself questions like where where do I need to be the Peterson Strobo Plus HD is an ultra high resolution strobe tuner with our largest illuminated display ever featured in a traditional strobe format Chromatically tune any instrument confidently to the exacting standards that experienced musicians demand or use any of the over 90 exclusive sweetened tunings that are developed and optimized for your specific instrument. Use the built-in mic, plug-in, or use a clip-on pickup to tune your instruments quickly with its smooth, real-time display or program your custom tunings using our Peterson Connect online utility. For more information, please visit petersontuners.com. Um, could you show us an example of tuning uh, on your steel? Yeah, yeah, I keep it right here. Um, I just have a little bit of a right head turn just to get there, but um, just with the uh, the HD here, I've got it wired uh, with a true with a true bypass, just kind of an isolated split from the black box here. But um, with the pedal steel, you actually tune. Here, I'll just go ahead and bypass my effects here. You actually tune the the note by itself. Okay. And then what you would do is press the pedal and the knee lever in the combination combination you would play. And what you would do is check that string again with the pedal engaged or the knee lever engaged. So you see that the F, I've raised it a half step and it's a little bit flat here. But the band didn't hear that during the sound check so it was okay. <laughs> so once we end up where we are, you see the strobo, you know, begins to kind of settle yeah. into where it is, which is which That's is what indicates to me. Stop. That's one of the best things about the tuner itself and me being able to temper my own tuning is that um, the biggest thing, I mean, and the reason I keep, I can't leave this is because I have to know 
that it's where I want it to be. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Drew, thank you so much. I really appreciate you uh, sharing your world with us. I know it's a little bit loud and crazy. You guys just finished up a sound check. Maybe uh, you could play us a, a couple of licks. Sure. <laughs> has the one-tenth of a cent accuracy of all Peterson strobes, a bright high-definition display, and 28 sweeten tunings and alternate temperaments for a wide variety of string and wind instruments. The strobo clip is encased in a stainless steel shell to help it withstand the rigors of the road. Carbon fiber construction of the hinge, stem, and clip help ensure a long and worry-free product life. The included cushioned metal carrying case will keep it safe when not in use. Soft rubber pads in the jaws of the strobo clip protect the instrument's finish while providing a firm grip for maximum signal conductivity. For more information, please visit petersontuners.com. Hey guys, this is Kenny Barnwell with Peterson's Tune TV. We're here at Life of Rhyme Music Publishing to link up with owner Scotty Davis, platinum selling songwriter and music producer. He has been named Billboard's number six producer of the year, named one of Billboard's top ten songwriters of the year twice, and has received a total of five ASCAP awards since 2008, including the coveted ASCAP Song of the Year. This guy's ear is amazing and obviously knows the importance of being in tune. Let's go inside and see how he incorporates Peterson tuners in his day to day. Follow me. Hey, Scotty. Hey. How you doing, brother? Good, man. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Yeah, so nice place you got here. Thank you very <laughs> much. It's, you know, home, comfortable. So tell us about yourself and uh, in Life of Rhyme. Life of Rhyme has been in existence since I got into town, uh, 1998, I believe. So not bad. I'm horrible at math. 16 years, 15 <laughs> years, something like that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I've been very fortunate. got to work with a lot of really cool artists and people. And Have you been here at this location the whole time? Not here particularly, no. Um, I work in and out of a lot of different studios and different places. So, okay. um, but when I can, I love working here. It's, it's home. Know, it's home. It's got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of comfort features that, you know, people like. And yeah, awesome, man. It kind of is a... Uh, conducive to be productive yeah and creative yes exactly and creative and in tune hopefully <laughs> definitely in tune uh, when was the first time you learned about peterson strobe tuners and what was the uh what was the first tuner you've ever used from peterson and what do you use now well the very first time i um heard of um peterson was an ad in a magazine um quite frankly and it kind of sparked my interest the very first peterson i personally owned though was a little the clip tuner okay and that blew me away. To this day, it still does. I brag about it to everybody that comes <laughs> in. My brother, okay. plays for uh, the Van Perry, came home and off the road and um, had a little tuner. It was the HD. And I immediately was like, what is this? I gotta, I've gotta, i got to get my hands on this. Yeah. So we used it in a, a session, and I was just immediately sold. With all the uh, pitch correction tools that you have in the studio like Melodyne and some of those other programs, um, how necessary is it to be in tune initially if you can if you can change and correct pitch? You know everything in music is subjective they say, um, but to answer your question from my perspective it's incredibly important. Um, there's nothing worse than capturing a great take and listening back a couple of times and realizing it's a little bit off. Um, you know, every now and then there is that breathing room, you're doing something a little left of center and it gives it character maybe, but yeah. for the most part, those of us that, you know, um, are trying to do a certain thing in music, we want it to be in tune. Does tune it make there. editing easier, I guess? On oh, it totally does. I mean, you, you can, fix something to an extent in a track, you know, but um, why if you can 
have it right the first time, why even bother right. creating the extra work? On the back end. Oh, totally, yeah. I mean, so everybody that comes in, you know, as far as guitar players go, I mean, before they hit their amp, they're going through the HD. Uh, maybe here shortly you can give us an example of that. I, I'd love to, yeah. Awesome. The Peterson Stomp Classic combines the timeless mojo of the legendary Khan ST11 Strobo Tuner with the most desired features in a pedal tuner to date. With Peterson's pioneering true bypass circuitry, a host of new sweetened tunings, unparalleled note detection, and a high definition real time strobe display, places the Stomp Classic in the top of its class among rival pedal tuners. An extremely bright, high contrast LCD display makes the Stomp Classic an excellent choice for use outdoors or wherever lighting conditions are less than desirable. Integrated pedal board mounting lugs keep the Stomp Classic in place on the road and while in use. For more information, please visit petersontuners.com. Grab that guitar over there and I'll show you how we tune it. All right. Yeah, so first of all, let's let's uh, tune with your... With the common tuner. Common tuner, yes. Okay. Let's compare. Green is go. We green, is, green is what you're going for. <laughs> green is good. We are in tune. Theoretically. Okay. okay, now we got that. Let's tune with the Peterson tuner. All right. stop. So I'm going to take these two and we'll compare them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this. The studio recording process can be pretty involved. Even recording these two short tracks in Pro Tools and analyzing the tuning in Melodyne can take some time. Here's, here's the best argument I could probably say. Okay. To look at them both, you can't really tell a difference, even looking at them. And whether or not your ear is trained enough to hear a difference, mathematically, you're off two cents here. Here, you're spot on in Melodyne, okay? Melodyne, I don't know, I can't say how accurate it is versus like down to thousands, you know, of a cent. Yeah. But. Two whole senses, two it's, whole senses. It's substantial. You know? Yeah, absolutely. When you tuned it on the common tuner, it sounds fine, you know, relative <laughs> to itself. Right. But you put it in with other things that are spot on, tuned with a Peterson, it sounds out. Right, right. Because it is. Right. You know? Hey, thank you so much no, for your time, man. You. I know you're a busy guy, so I'll let you get out of here. Guys, I'm Kenny Barnwell with Peterson's Tune TV. And I'm Scott Davis with Life of Rhyme. Get your hands on a Peterson. <laughs> Until next time, stay tuned.